Scientists <laughs> looking for life on other planets like to talk about the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. And now NASA's found a planet that's right in that zone. Astronomers have found clear evidence of what could be an Earth 2.0. This artist rendering shows the rocky planet identified as Proxima b, orbiting the Proxima Centauri star. The James Webb Space Telescope just sent back a photo from 4.2 light years away and everyone's losing their minds. Proxima b, the closest Earth-like planet, isn't just a blurry ball anymore. This image is crystal clear and what's in it not normal. For years, Proxima b was just a whisper in the dark, an Earth-like exoplanet orbiting the red dwarf Proxima Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor. Scientists speculated about water, about life, but it was all theoretical, until now. The JWST, aiming its powerful instruments, captured something no one expected. This wasn't the blurry pixelation of old, this was sharp, incredibly detailed. And there, nestled perfectly within the planet's habitable zone, that narrow strip where temperatures might allow for liquid water, was an impossible sight, a geometric structure. The scientific community went silent, a stunned hush falling over NASA. The public release was sanitized, the structure conspicuously cropped out. But then, a raw leak hit Reddit. Some engineer somewhere couldn't keep this monumental secret. The internet exploded. That's not a settlement, one user posted. That's a signal. Another echoed the growing unease. It's not watching us, it's waiting. The formation itself was dead center in Proxima B's twilight zone, where perpetual dusk reigns. It resembled a colossal mechanical iris a giant eye, and that eye, chillingly, seemed to blink. Heat signatures flared around it, not randomly, but in distinct patterned bursts. Some interpreted it as energy discharge, others as controlled propulsion. Whatever it was, it was undeniably on. Here's the wildest part. Proxima B shouldn't even exist. Red dwarfs are notoriously volatile, spewing radiation flares that should strip away any planetary atmosphere. Most planets this close would be utterly fried. Yet Proxima B endures, somehow stable, somehow clinging on. It's almost as if it's being protected. And there's more, way more. Back in 2013, astronomers first noticed Proxima Centauri wobbling not the gentle sway of a planet's orbit, but a more pronounced, inexplicable tug. Years later, Proxima b was discovered, but some still argue the wobble doesn't fully add up. They believe something else, something massive is out there. Some whisper that this structure isn't a city at all. It's a gate, or far more unsettling, a beacon. The question is, no longer whether life exists out there. The question is, has it been trying to contact us all along? Or has it been patiently waiting for us to finally notice that Proxima b isn't just another distant rock? It's the most talked about planet in the galaxy. And thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we're seeing it clearer than ever, and what we're seeing doesn't add up. To truly grasp the mystery of Proxima b, we must understand the star it orbits, Proxima Centauri, the cosmic wildcard sitting just 4.2 light years from Earth. A red dwarf, a name that sounds benign, even cute. But these are unstable monsters in disguise. Unlike our sun, which burns steadily for billions of years, red dwarfs are prone to violent, unpredictable tantrums. Their fusion reactions bubble dangerously close to the surface, meaning they can unleash devastating solar flares with almost no warning. When they erupt, they go nuclear. In 2021, Proxima Centauri unleashed one of the most intense flares ever recorded, a cataclysmic event 100 times more powerful than anything our own sun has ever produced. Had Earth been in its path, our satellites would have fried, power grids would have collapsed. And Proxima b? It's right there, locked 
in an incredibly tight orbit just 7 million kilometers from the star. That's insanely close. Yet, it remains undestroyed. This leads to the biggest, most perplexing question. How? If life exists on Proxima b, it must be either burrowed deep underground, shielded by immense rock formations, or it has evolved in ways we can barely conceive. Some exobiologists are now proposing a mind-bending possibility, radiation feeding life. Imagine organisms that don't merely tolerate solar storms, but thrive on them, consuming the very energy that would obliterate us. They don't fear chaos, they are born from it. And the James Webb has noticed something truly bizarre. After each flare, the planet seems to change. Heat signals shift, certain spots warm, then cool, in patterns that are anything but random. They are predictable. Something is responding to that energy, either nature reacting in an unprecedented way or technology activating. But it gets even stranger. Proxima b is tidally locked, unlike Earth. One side endures perpetual day, scorched by the star's relentless fury. The other is locked in eternal night, frozen solid. Only a narrow strip, the twilight zone, exists in perpetual dusk. This is the only place where liquid water might exist, the only potential refuge for life, or for construction. That's precisely where JWST focused its gaze, and what it saw there changed everything. Straight lines, geometric symmetry, reflective ridges. One formation, now chillingly dubbed the Centauri Spine, stretches across the twilight belt like a cosmic scar. It is too symmetrical, too precise. Nature simply doesn't sculpt with such exactitude. Some scientists cling to the idea of a tectonic fluke. Others, however, whisper the word no one wants to say aloud, engineered. The patterns on the spine reflect light differently on different days, like polished glass or metal, not just once, but repeatedly across multiple passes and varying lighting conditions. The result is always the same. One planetary geologist, overwhelmed by the evidence, finally conceded, we're not just seeing a rock, we're seeing design. Online, theories exploded. Reddit threads buzzed with comparisons to ancient Earth artifacts, the Nazca lines, vast solar farms, even nascent Dyson swarms. The most audacious theory? It's not a building at all. It's a receiver, a listening post, or more ominously, a warning beacon. Then came the atmospheric scans. Using light filtered through Proxima b's atmosphere as it transited its star, JWST performed a spectroscopic analysis, essentially reading the planet's chemical fingerprint. What it found shocked everyone. Oxygen, methane, phosphine. Individually, these might be explainable. But together, they scream biological activity. They shouldn't coexist unless something is constantly replenishing them, breathing or burning. But there was more. High levels of sulfur-based compounds, acidic, corrosive air. Not friendly to life as we know it, but perhaps perfect for something alien, something that uses sulfur as we use oxygen. Life, but not as we know it. Then, in 2020, something truly profound happened. A narrowband radio signal, pure, steady, and undeniably unnatural, hit Earth's detectors from the direction of Proxima Centauri, a 30-hour blip. Scientists called it Breakthrough Signal 1, and just as mysteriously as it arrived, it vanished. No one can definitively prove it came from Proxima b, but the timing, the direction, the signature, all matched. It was as if someone whispered, we're here, and then went silent. Some believe the signal was an invitation, others a test, but a quiet few suggest it was a mirror a way to let us see ourselves before they decide what happens next. For us, Proxima b is a death trap, the side facing its star, scorching hot, 
blasted by relentless radiation and constant solar flares that would fry anything on the surface. The night side? Frozen solid, trapped in endless darkness and temperatures colder than Antarctica in winter. This isn't just inhospitable, it's downright lethal. You'd need a full suit just to breathe, an armor just to survive the climate, said a planetary scientist, skeptical of finding a breathable atmosphere. Proxima B might have air too thin to support life, or so thick with toxic chemicals it would choke us out. Without a magnetic field like Earth's to shield it, the radiation levels alone would cook any unprotected life forms alive. The surface would be a constant blast furnace during a solar storm. If life does exist there, scientists say it must be hidden, buried deep underground, shielded from radiation, or evolved beyond anything we know. For humans to survive, we'd need underground habitats, likely along that narrow twilight zone, using thick rock to block radiation. We'd need air recycling systems, artificial gravity, perhaps even energy shields to protect from solar flares. It would be the harshest, most high-tech cave civilization ever attempted. But here's the real kicker. What if something already solved this? What if life on Proxima B has figured out how to live under the surface? That could explain the weird surface heat spikes and the repeating structures James Webb has seen. Something living under the rock, watching, waiting. Not like us, not interested in sunshine or comfort, but perfectly designed to endure. Maybe Proxima B isn't a place for us to visit. Maybe we're already the visitors. And the locals? They're the ones choosing when or if they make contact. You'd expect the dark side to be utterly dead. No sun, no warmth, just an eternal, frozen wasteland. But James Webb saw something else. Strange heat patches, scattered hot spots glowing where it should be colder than Antarctica in winter. It just doesn't add up. These areas shouldn't be active, said a NASA thermal expert. But the heat zones aren't random. They're clustered, shifting slightly, and not like volcanoes. Volcanoes erupt, then cool off, but these spots stay warm, flickering almost like lights beneath a blanket. Some think it could be geothermal energy, lava flows beneath the surface, but others aren't convinced. If it were lava, we'd see eruptions or signs of ash, but these spots are too clean, said an exoplanet geologist. That's why the theory of underground reactors is gaining momentum, natural or artificial sources powering the planet's dark side. No sunlight there, so it has to be something else. A machine, a network of reactors, something keeping life alive in eternal night and bitter cold. One astrobiologist suggested the dark side might actually be the main habitat for life on Proxima b. It's protected from solar flares, while heat from below keeps things from freezing solid. If that's right, we've been looking in the wrong place all along. Life isn't just clinging to the narrow habitable zone, it's thriving in the shadows. And here's where it gets truly eerie. The more we study Proxima b, the more it feels like it's been prepared, shaped, even engineered. And now, some are wondering, maybe it wasn't aliens who got there first, maybe it was us. But we may not have to wait much longer, because humanity has a plan to answer back, a probe the size of a thumbnail, a sail thinner than paper, and a laser so powerful it could push that ship to 20% the speed of light. This is Breakthrough Starshot, a mission to fire our first real interstellar scout toward Proxima B. If it works, it'll arrive in just over 20 years. And if it survives, we'll get images, atmosphere readings, temperature maps, maybe even a response. One scientist said it best. We're not just looking at a planet anymore. We're looking at a story, one that's been unfolding quietly for a very long time and we just turned the page. The mysteries of Proxima B are just beginning to unfold, and the implications are staggering. What do you think this geometric structure means? Is it a sign of advanced life, a warning, or something else entirely? Join the conversation. 
share your theories in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest cosmic discoveries and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single revelation from the universe. Let's explore the cosmos together.